My name is Bella Christie. I was born and raised in a Christian household, um, just by both my parents. My parents were great. They were a great godly influence in my life. I also just, between the ages of like nine and 10, just started to deal, struggle with some pretty serious, just mental struggles. And for a while, I didn't really have the words to vocalize what I was going through because I didn't really realize that like as a nine-year-old kid, it wasn't really normal for like to want to disappear or to not want to be here anymore. I didn't really have the words to express that. And then I, around when I was like 14 years old, there was some just family stuff going on. I had my first panic attack and a couple weeks later, um, I went to my primary, my mom took me to my primary care physician and we started like anxiety medication. And then a few months after that, I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety, depression and um, ADHD. And for several years after that, I've just gone through therapy and medicine and a couple like hospital visits and just some tough stuff. Um, and when I started college here, um, I have started just advocating for myself and kind of putting those decisions that were made for me into my own hands. Um, and that's been a struggle, but I've also seen a lot of fruit coming out of that too. And my mental health and my spiritual life is so just closely intertwined. And throughout all of that, when I didn't have the words to express what I was going through or when I didn't really know how to talk about it or if I could talk about it, God was always there. Like, He was always my safe place. Scripture was always there. Um, and when I went through some tough stuff when I was like an adolescent after I had talked with my parents and started medication, um, I at times didn't really feel comfortable or safe like coming to them about stuff. Um, and God has always been my rock and my refuge and my strength. Um, and He's always just brought me out of that, not without pain, but without stain. I've struggled, but I've never been broken to the point of despair. I've never been broken to the point where redemption isn't possible. I don't actually remember a time where I prayed the prayer or accepted Christ into my heart. Like I know that happens somewhere between the ages of like four to six, but growing up, I struggled with my assurance of salvation a lot because I don't remember a specific time where I prayed and like asked Jesus into my heart like you're explained to do as a kid. So I went through a time where I kept on asking Jesus to save me because I didn't have the assurance that I was saved. But I've always known about God at the very least. And I have, I do believe that I received salvation at a young age. But during like ages like nine to 12, when I was going through some really rough stuff, I just didn't have a, steadfast or consistent relationship with God at all. And I went to church every week and I, um, until I was pulled out, I went to a Christian school, but nothing really stuck. And then as a teenager, as an adolescent, I got really curious about faith and religion and philosophy and theology. And so I came to my dad, who's very big on certain theological beliefs. And he has a lot of commentaries and books. And so I picked those up, but it was mainly just for the seeking of knowledge and not for my own personal relationship with Christ. It was really when I started to struggle with intense depression and darkness that I found myself crying out to God to just let me feel any kind of emotion. And I was just begging and pleading with Him for a really long time and that brought me a lot closer to Him through that pain. Um, and when I went through weeks or months of feeling very bad and slipping into ideations or episodes, like depressive episodes, and then coming out of it. Um, each time that happened, I feel like that strengthened my relationship with God a bit more um, because I begged Him and pleaded with Him in the hard times and He brought me out of it and He brought me through. And when I enter those hard times again, I had the knowledge and the hope and the confidence that like, no, He has brought me through this before, He will do it again. It was really sophomore year where I really immensely, intensely started to grow with the Lord. And it's only ever grown. Um, and I'm in a really good place right now with the Lord, but I also know there is still so much growth to do and He will be faithful to see that to completion. I want to make it and I'm so glad that I have. And that's just by His grace and for His glory alone. Um, because if it was up to me and if everything that I had done had no miraculous power, had no divine power, if God wasn't in that situation, I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have been here when I was 15 or 16. I shouldn't be alive. And the fact that I am 
still here is just so indicative that like Christ does not stop short of completion and he does not stop short of restoration and redemption. And I've just seen that in my life so much is that when all else failed, when the ground beneath my feet just crumbled, God was still holding me.